<clears throat> ah. Alright, let me open the window. Yeah. Hello, Internet. I'm Chrissy Duffy, and welcome back to more of me reading stuff for Story Nook. So, this is a fanfiction that I wrote a, about a, two months ago, in September is when I began writing it. I was just really bored. I scribbled a little silly scribble of mannequin tails on a water slide. And this is the random concoction that I wrote. So I hope you enjoy it. And it is just called Water Park Fanfic because I'm not that creative with titles. Sonic grimaced as he saw the makeshift water park. He loved summer, perfect for runs and tree canopy naps, beaches, water, slides, and activity. But here he was holding a toddler two-tailed fox who squirmed in delight at the idea of swimming. Sonic glaring isn't going to make the water disappear, Sonia teased. Sonic hated that laugh. The laugh his sister did when she took pleasure in his pain. He found it cruel. Sonic averted his gaze from his sister down to the ground. He was going to purposely do a sonic boom through the next mud puddle she was closest to. He looked at Tails, who took in everything with a great interest. At least you're excited, buddy. The fox giggled as Sonic rubbed his head. Dude, don't worry, Manic grabbed Sonic's arm and pulled him away from the water. You just chill in the shade with the tunes and I'll take the little dude in the pool. Sonic smiled as he let the green hedgehog lead him to a beach chair under a big umbrella with a radio. Sonic arched a brow at the two coolers. One has food, the other drinks, Manic smiled. He clapped his hands together before holding them out in front of the orange fox. Now give me the little dude. Tails bounced in excitement as he reached for Manic. Wait a sec. Sonic sat down and swung the bag off his shoulder. He held Tails in his lap, wrapping his legs around as he pulled out swim gear. Tails needs his life vest, arm wings, a pool float. Manic bit his lower lip as he watched Sonic put more swim gear on the titled toddler than what was probably needed. The green hedgehog just hoped Sonic's aquaphobia wouldn't be taught to Tails. Tails pouted and attempted to squirm away from each layer of water safety Sonic applied. Tails hissed at the arm floats before attempting to bite them. Sonic flicked his cheek. Miles Tails prowers stop it. The jade eyes and voice was stern for a nine-year-old. You need to stay safe out there. Tails looked at Sonic with big round eyes. Keep up the puppy eyes and you aren't going, Sonic stuck his tongue out. Tail stared blankly as he gave up in the futile fight. If Sonic is becoming the mature one, I fear what this world is coming to, Sonia joked as she laid a towel next to Sonic. I'm not taking chances with that, Sonic jabbed a finger in the direction of water. No worries, dude, Manic assured as he scooped the fox from his lap. I'm a good swimmer. I can teach the little dude how to swim and have fun in the water. Manic rubbed his nose against the kid's nose. In that right, little dude? Sonic watched Manic walk to the pool before laying back and turning on the radio. He hummed along to the tune. Sonia rolled her eyes as she rubbed in her sunscreen. She was grateful she put sunscreen on the fox on their way over. Sonia left the blue hedgehog to hum along to the radio. Manic held Tails close to his chest as they entered the smaller kiddie pool. Tails splashed in glee, his tail spinning in excitement. That makes this easier, Manic chuckled. Tails pointed at the slide as he attempted to go towards it. All right, dude, Manic laughed as he kept two hands on the excited child. I'll take you on the water slide if you can prove that you can swim, okay? Tails nodded, determined to win this deal. Manic smiled. Tails wasn't much of a talker yet, but the kid was wicked smart and understood what people said. Tails listened intently and followed Manic's swimming directions perfectly. Manic slowly removed the swim gear as Tails proved he could swim well enough without it. You're doing great, dude, Manic complimented after removing the arm floaties. 
Tails happily swam laps in the kiddie pool as the green hedgehog walked behind him. Manic nodded to himself. Tails was a quick learner. It was time for him to hold up his end of the deal. Dude, do you think you're ready for the slide? Manic pointed at the slide. Tails bounced with excitement. He swam to Manic and held onto his waist. Manic chuckled as he picked up Tails. He gathered the discarded swim gear and tiptoed back to the chairs. Sonic had his eyes closed, singing along with the radio as he wiggled his foot. Manic placed the swim gear on the chair Sonia claimed. He then tiptoed away, very pleased with his sneakiness. After all, the green hedgehog did not want to deal with being lectured by his own twin brother. He smiled down at his two-tailed accomplice. I'm glad you're a quiet kid, he gave Tails nose kisses as they got in line for the water slide. Now, the slide has rules, Minnick explained as they waited. You're still little, so I'll have to hold you in my lap, Tails nodded intently. He really wanted to go on the slide. When we go kaplash in the pool, we'll need to swim to the side so the next person can go. Tails walked, rocked on his heels as he waited in the line with Manic, a hand firmly holding on to Manic's swim trunks. His tails flicked in emotion as he looked around the park. He recognized some freedom fighters, but not many others. His ears twitched as he realized people were whispering and stealing glances at his two tails. Tails moved closer to Manic as he grabbed his tails and wrapped them around himself. The soft, fearful whimper alerted Manic to Tails' distress. He scooped the fox in his arms. It's okay, little dude. I'm here. He patted the orange fox on the head. No one's gonna mess with you. Plus, Sonic and Sonya are here, too. Sonic can spin dash and while Sonya lectures their tails off. Tails giggled at that as he tucked his head under Manic's chin. Manic told many jokes to keep the kid laughing and happy for the rest of the walk in the line. Minnick smiled at the two lifeguards at the top of the line. A female dog and a male cat greeted them. Tails clung to Manic's neck when the brown fur woman reached for him. It's okay, little dude. She just needs to take your height. Minnick moved his hand to hold Tails's. Tails was tiny with sharp claws. Manic was mad Sonya and Sonic didn't believe him when he mentioned Tails' needle claws. One day, they would be a alone with Tails during a thunderstorm and find out. And then, after ice cream, Minnick would laugh at his twins. It's for safety, Minnick explained, when the fox made no effort to move. Tails nodded as he used his tail tails to guide Clyde to the ground. The workers stared slack-jawed. Minnick ruffled Tails' hand to make him look down. Tails, you're going to stand by that sign with the hand, Minnick Sign stopped gawking with his free hand as he mouthed the words. The dog and cat nodded as they gathered themselves. They were teens, but the nine-year-old hedgehog was able to come off as intimidating. Minnick switched back to his chill dude attitude once the lifeguards gathered themselves. You're tall enough to ride, kiddo, the girl beamed. She hoped the kid wouldn't realize some of it was forced. Tails hopped in joy, the action making her let out an awe. Tails tilted his head at the sound. Minnick chuckled. That means you're cute. It's a good thing. Tails nodded as he walked over to Manic. The lifeguards ex explained some side safety rules. Thanks, dudes. Manic beamed with a big smile. Tails, can you say thank you? Tails looked at the lifeguards with large blue eyes. Thank you. Tails had a big happy smile as Manic made his hand wave. Tails pressed his back against Manic's chest as they s sat at the top of the water slide. Tails' appendages sw swished with excitement. Manic laughed as he wrapped his arms around the fox. They scooted forward and let the slide take them. The slide made several twists and the water was cool. They screamed in joy. They landed in the pool with a nice big splash. Tails' doggy paddled to the surface. Manic sprang up and spit water into the air like a fountain. Manic guided Tails to the edge so the next person could go. Sonic s stood by the edge of the pool, his foot tapping with nerves. You took Tails on the water slide? He eyed the slide with concern. There was water on that slide. Relax, dude, Manic assured. The little dude is a natural swimmer. Plus, we had fun. 
Sonic sighed before turning a bright smile to the orange fox. Did you have a good time, little buddy? Way past cool! Tail squealed as he bounced on the edge of the pool. Sonic took a step back to avoid the splashing water. That's good, he looked at his twin and gave a soft smile. Thanks for doing what I can't with him. You're welcome, Manic smiled as he scooped Tails up to exit the pool. So, what's for lunch? Chili dog, Sonic beamed as he bounced back to his seat. And yeah, that is the end of this. I'm actually really, really happy with this fan fiction. I haven't really written a fan fiction that I like in a good long minute. There's some like spelling errors and stuff from like me just like mistyping stuff because I hand wrote all of this first. But I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you for being here. Feel free to like, comment, all the good things. Thank you very much to my channel members, Patreons, and Kofi supporters, Micah and Diamond Glass. You guys are awesome. I hope you all enjoyed the story. Enjoy whatever art I have playing over it. If you're watching on the Story Nook channel, uh, yeah, let me know if there's any other like kind of stuff you want me to read. All that good stuff. So yeah, bye bye. Thank you.